Shook it up. Good morning, lovely people. <clears throat> I'm a bit croaky this morning. I had a lovely weekend in Manchester where I met lovely people, spent time with Lex, ate loads of food, and now today I feel like I need to get back to it because I haven't been in the gym and I've been eating a lot of burgers and cookies and everything yummy. Uh, my weight is up a pound, which is fine. It could be up a lot more considering how much I've eaten. And today I got up, I showered, so I washed the hair, which is looking very long right now and could do with a cut. And just waiting on my muscle food delivery to arrive. Um, and then I'm going to hit the gym and do a quad session and feel like I'm being productive because I felt yesterday I was feeling exhausted. The day before we were still in Manchester and traveling. So back to it today. We are going to be productive. downstairs and as you can see muscle food has arrived so I'm just going to quickly take you through what I have gotten this month which is going to keep me and Lex on track. The sun is shining and hopefully we will get a new barbecue soon so I can make the most of what we've got. So muscle food have a really good selection of barbecue meats right now so we have some chicken thighs some jumbo barbecue wings. These are one of our ultimate favorites. We actually had them for dinner last night, so I don't think we'll have them again tonight. Got the pizza stuffed chicken breasts. Um, I haven't tried these before. It's a coconut and lime diced chicken. We've got some chicken breast skewers in a peri peri marinade. We've got some chicken burgers, just a Texas barbecue. Um, and I may this tonight so it's pork tenderloin in a thai basil marinade so that's going to be a little bit spicy but really low in fat it's only 2.8 grams per hundred and um, we've only got 2.6 grams of carbs 24 grams protein so I do like my pork and then we've got some bacon medallions some naked bacon streaky bacon for lex i decided i want to try some of this mexican seasoning so i'm making some fajitas um we have some of the pita bread so low carb for me and then these are the high protein bread from dr zach's which lex loves and um, most of you would always throw in something kind of free for you to try and this month it was some of these fusions from ribena so nice to give them a go there's no sweeteners in them a um, few of these little puddings which I might try, they're just like a little chocolate pudding, they're small but um, vegan friendly and I'm presuming quite delicious. And then we've got the Eat Lean Cheese, so this is the tasty slice, it's a little bit higher in fat but still lower in fat than most other cheeses, so it's um, 16 grams per 100. And then we've got the grated cheese, which I add to pretty much everything. I've got some of the Meridian Coconut Almond Butter, and Lex tried some of these. I had one or two of them. Um, they're pretty much like dried cheese. It's like a, a cheese cracker. Uh, there's no carbs in them, so it's just fats and proteins. So perfect little keto snack if you're doing a keto diet. So if you would like to purchase anything from Muscle Food, hit up the link down below. And now you can use Lainey, all caps lock, for five pounds off any order over 25 pounds. That pretty much gives you free delivery on any order you put in. So that's my little give back to you if you want to buy anything from muscle food. Now, get on with the day, gonna put these away and get on making some breakfast. 
So it is now breakfast time. I've brought the dogs out for a walk and I'm going to eat something and then try and hit the gym. So this is what Lex and I are having for our breakfast. So as you can see, there's a stark difference between our meals because we have different macro intake. So Lex has two whole eggs, some of the Dr. Zach's protein bread, two uh, pork and apple sausages, some of that streaky bacon that I got from Muscle Food. He also has a cup of tea. And then I have some egg whites uh, fried up with some of the lean cheese, some bacon medallions, ketchup, and marmite in a little toasty. And then I've got a coconut milk coffee. Getting ready to hit the gym, but I'm feeling a bit, I don't know, like an afternoon slump. So I'm gonna have one of my smoothies, which consists of loads of ice. We've got some water, some frozen blueberries. I put in a scoop of the True Beauty, which is like the collagen from Women's Best, and a scoop of protein powder. So I'm using the salted toffee pretzel. This is my favorite flavor. So I'm just going to blitz this up, drink it. Hopefully it'll energize me, get me through my workout. Here we have huge anti-aging energizing smoothie. Pretty sure if I turn this upside down, nothing will come out, but I'm not risking it just in case, but it's super thick. I'm just the way I like it. I just blasted a quad and chest workout and it's funny because I was training them and thinking that they were two body parts that in the past I have avoided to train because I felt like my quads were too big and I didn't want to get bigger manlier legs and with chest I just felt like you know as a woman I didn't want to be building pec muscles and I had breast augmentation five years ago so for a while I was actually just uncomfortable to train chest but now I feel like for a well-rounded balanced physique and just for strength and conditioning and um, we should be training every body part regardless of whether you're male or female so if you're male and you're avoiding training your glutes um, do you need a good round booty to fill out your jeans guys and then for girls don't avoid quads and don't avoid training chest or rear delts and things like that just because you feel they're manly and um, train them and enjoy them you don't have to train to get shredded big pecs but you can train it just to have to lift the chest muscle and to just get a well-rounded balanced physique and feel strong 
So now I'm really sweaty. I don't know whether it's just me or whether it's the actual day that's in it because it's kind of rainy today. But I had a very good workout and now I'm going to go back and check on Roxy because um, she's been a bit poorly today. Poor little Roxy. She hasn't eaten and she's thrown up a couple of times. It's a bit of a dodgy tummy. So we'll go and look after our little puggy. <sighs> Maybe have a cup of coffee. Pet me up a little bit more. My pre-workout smoothie definitely helped get me through that workout. So home to the family. So I'm in from the gym about an hour or two. I've had coffee, I've had a protein cookie and fed the dogs. Roxy, still not the best. I've put her on some uh, tuna and rice just to keep it simple on her stomach, but she still has a bit of a dodgy tummy. So right now I'm just getting dinner ready. I'm putting on the pork loin, the kind of spicy pork loin. Um, to be honest, I'm just feeling really tired and don't even feel really hungry, but once it's made, hopefully I'll get a bit of an appetite. But I'll just put it on so that Lex at least has something to eat, even if I opt out. I wasn't even going to record anything else today, but I've started, so I'll finish and I'll continue my vlog. It's just I feel so tired and I like to be energetic and positive and I don't like to be saying, oh yeah, I'm feeling really tired and sleepy and sweaty because I just bought the dogs and I've got PMT and that's what it is isn't it guys when you've got PMT you don't really want to go to the gym personally I just before I have my period I don't even have an appetite at all I just want to sleep and go to bed that's it that's like my goals when I've got PMT so right now the fact that I'm awake means that I'm winning at life screw you PMT, I'm beating you right now, even though I am a sweaty mess. But we'll get dinner on for the husband. Main goal for today, feed him, keep him happy. He's been editing all day and he looks like he's losing the will to live. So I've just been keeping him fed as I go about my day. So the pork fillet is baked, roasted, ready to go, but Lex and I just, we're just not hungry right now. And it's like 8.30, not hungry. Listen to our bodies, we'll probably be hungry in about an hour or so. So, when we are, we need it. We've got potatoes and stuff in the fridge. So we've got some meat, potatoes, pork, so applesauce all the way. We'll have that in a bit. But right now we're just chilling out. So it's 9.30 p.m. and Time for dinner, so we have the pork fillet, some baby new potatoes, and some applesauce. Simple, clean, healthy, hitting all our macros. Delicious. So dessert tonight is consisting of a selection of Oppo Sicilian lemon cheesecake and one of these little podologies, which are about 15 grams carbs and 15 grams protein. They're pretty tiny, so they don't want to be worth it. Dairy free though. So today's Friday guys, and this little one here, this little bundle of gorgeousness has been quite poorly the past couple of days. So we've been prioritizing looking after her and we brought her to the vet this morning. You're feeling a bit better now today, aren't you, Rox? Um, I just wanted to finish off the vlog just to explain why I kind of abruptly finished the last scene because Roxy has been sick. She's been throwing up. But she definitely is a little bit better today. As you can see, she's running around the place. Um, and we've been to the vet and got some antibiotics. So hopefully, fingers crossed, she'll be back to her wonderful self soon. And... Um, back to normal vlogging next week with healthy puppies. So thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed the workout, please give it a thumbs up. If you want more of these videos, as usual, comment down below, tell me what you like to see. And I'll see you next time. Yeah, I'm Superman, I spend my time flying high, going round, but I'm always getting wayside. Some people trying to shit on me, I said, girl, you can sit on me, cause bitch, they be hating